Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, but if you're new here, you should definitely subscribe because that would be awesome. This is a tutorial for these fern leaf nails. These are totally fern leaves. I looked up a picture on Google just to make sure that these are actually fern leaves, and they are. So these nails are actually inspired by Glitter on Instagram, so you should definitely check her out. I'll leave her link below because her account is amazing. So yeah, let's get into the tutorial. To start, I'm applying a layer of base coat to all of my nails just to protect my nails and make sure my manicure lasts as long as possible. On the nails that you want your fern leaves to be, just paint the nail two thin coats of white nail polish to get it opaque. With a small nail art brush and green acrylic paint, I'm just starting painting the leaf and it's actually a lot easier than you'd think it'd be. I just made a curved line and then I'm just kind of flicking the brush to make more lines to get that fern leaf effect. Then I just repeated those steps all over my nail to get more leaves and alternate the shapes and positions of the leaves for a really cool effect. And as always, all the products I'm using will be listed below in the description box if you want to check that out. And then of course I had to add hollow, so I'm taking a thin striping brush dipped into my favorite holographic polish, again the name will be below, and I'm just filling in the middle part of each leaf with some holographic polish because why not? And then I'm finishing the design off with some fast drying top coat to seal in the design and make it really shiny and last as long as possible. So here is the finished design and now I'm going to show you how I got the silver hollow accent nail. So I started by painting my middle finger a thin coat of my sparkle holographic polish. Again, this is my favorite holographic polish. I actually recently had to buy another bottle of it because I've used so much of it. It's awesome. And now I'm taking some liquid latex and applying that all over my finger to protect from the sponging that we're going to do. And a lot of times I get lazy and I don't use liquid latex when I sponge on glitter. And it's a pain in the neck to get the glitter off your skin and around your cuticles. So I really recommend using some liquid latex to help with the cleanup because it's going to get really messy. And I was messy with the liquid latex, so I'm just taking a toothpick and cleaning that out of my cuticle. And then on a latex-free makeup sponge, I'm taking that silver holographic polish and I am sponging it onto my nail and it just gives such a nice effect. Oh my gosh, I love hollow. Then with some tweezers, I'm removing that liquid latex to reveal some nice clean cuticles. And I did have a little bit of cleanup to do, but not bad. And then I'm applying a layer of fast drying top coat, and I actually ended up applying two layers of top coat to make the nail really shiny. So here is the final look on my pinky and pointer finger. I painted on that hot pink polish, and then on my thumb, I actually ended up painting more leaves, and I just love the way these nails turned out. Again, these are inspired by Glitter on Instagram. Again, check her out below because she's awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you liked it. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because that would be amazing. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'm really annoying when I have to end videos. I just repeat myself all the time, so I'm sorry. I will end this now. Thanks for watching. Bye.